Asbestos concerns are growing amongst the individuals who spent time in one University of Montana building. There was a meeting held on Friday to address the concerns of the public and inform the public on efforts being made to fix the asbestos problem in the McGill Hall. KPEX's Lauren Heiser joins us now live to help us break down this information. Lauren? Thanks, Kent. A company called Gem Environmental came in to perform the first round of testing when concerns came forward that asbestos in the mechanical room at McGill Hall on the UMT campus um, this first test took place in mid-December. It was later determined that the levels seen were unacceptable for the building, including in the child care center. Both of the, um, the building was closed. This closure, closure left staff with questions about their safety and about their health. Obviously, my number one concern is, you know, my faculty, my students, my adjuncts, uh, that have gone through that space for all this time, and someone must have known. <laughs> that there was asbestos in this building. I went in good faith thinking this is a safe place to work and now I have a concern that I'm going to have the rest of my life. Asbestos is a mineral fiber that's concentration is measured in structures per square centimeter. According to the University of Montana, the standard they plan to adhere to was set by the EPA when working on a cleanup effort in Libby. They said 5,000 structures per square centimeter was considered the point where cleanup was necessary. They conducted both air and surface wipe tests in a large classroom in McGill Hall. 20,000 structures per square centimeter were present on the backs of computers. All of this has people asking, what about the other buildings on campus that were constructed during this time? You know, we are looking at um, amplifying our inspections and probably amplifying some of our testing um, schedules and protocols, in, particularly in light of what we are seeing in McGill Hall, because it does stand to reason other places that were constructed at the same time could be experiencing the same um, deterioration. Plans for further testing are being made. They hope to be able to determine the level of exposure people who spent time in McGill Hall may have had. This question is being asked and posed by parents of children in the daycare located, located inside the building. Kent? Thanks, Lauren. The university has closed the building completely and says it will likely remain closed for the remainder of the semester.